All right. Hello. Welcome back to a Deep Rock Galactic video, y'all. In today's video, I'm going to be going on a solo Hazard 5 mission with Gunner here, taking the Hurricane Guided Rocket Launcher system as the primary with the voted on balanced overclock mine layer system. How I have the Hurricane built here today is I have more total ammo in tier 1, better projectile speed in tier 2, better rate of fire in tier 3, more area damage in tier 4, and stun in tier 5. Like I said, I have the mine layer system as the overclock. How it works is the rockets that hit the ground get turned into powerful mines upon impact, and the mines deal even more damage than what the rockets would have done by hitting the bugs. So that's pretty cool. The mine explosion radius is a 1.55 explosion radius, and for them to get triggered, bugs need to be at least two meters within the mine for it to go off. On the downsides though, you can no longer control the missiles and you have a small reduction in ammo, so sag. <laughs> then for the secondary here today, I have the burst fire gun with the clean overclock full chamber seal. How I have the build here today is I have more total ammo in tier one. I have a better reload speed in tier two, bigger magazine size in tier three, weak point bonus damage in tier four and stun in tier five. Then, like I said, I have full chamber seal for the clean overclock here today. Essentially, what it does is just gives me a small damage boost and a better reload speed. So, cool. <laughs> I have my shields built here today as I have more charge speed and a lasting effect. How my zip lines built is I have more total ammo, better reach, and the increased movement speed. For the grenade today, I'm taking the cluster grenade. And then for Lloyd here today, I have more revives, cryo grenades, and electric bullets. And today, we're going to be playing on an egg hunt in Glacial Strata, and that makes me sad. <laughs> I did play around a bit with the mine layer system in the sandbox. Okay, first thing is first. I hope I didn't. Yeah, okay. I don't think I left on the damage text. No, okay, cool. Cool. I was playing around with the mine layer system in the sandbox um, game or mod, and I was just trying to figure out how it works because I've I've never actually used the mine layer system before, but I assumed it was like the same concept as like every every other, you know, mine. I was just playing around with um, different types of of builds, seeing what like the best one, quote unquote, would be or just like a really optimized one would be <laughs> before I used it. And I just learned some interesting things about the mine layer system. Weak point bonus damage doesn't work on the mines. I've tried that and the damage it does is 45 from the explosion and the weak point da damage when on the underside of the bugs doesn't give it the explosions any more damage. The only way to really add more damage is the area damage because I guess that's all the mines would do is the rockets area damage from the explosion and then I tried adding the physical damage um, gear mod to it that one doesn't work either because it, it once again it's the mine itself like the explosion itself not the rocket and I was trying to see if like more ammo would be better so you can place down more mines but I find that in hazard 5 with all the bugs around um, you're gonna wanna be shooting these things out pretty fast because there's just like so many bugs. And then also my other question was, does napalm work on the explosions and stun and all that, the nitroglycerin combat as well? Um, yes to the napalm, yes to the stun. And then for nitroglycerin compound, it's interesting. It's interesting because it actually doesn't work. <laughs> Yay, the wiki lied. No matter how far away I was from the Praetorians and the missiles would fly towards them and then get turned into mines and explode, it would still do the flat 45.8 damage. So it seems like the mines are their own damage type, that being area damage. So that's why the only gear mod that actually impacts how much damage the mines do is the area damage gear mod. So anyways, that's just something I wanted to quickly chime in. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, that's why I also wanted to add stun because because you could potentially just like stun something and then it would just like stay there the entire time. Yeah, this is what I just learned to do. Just like spam them down in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Here, cluster grenades, guys. <laughs> It's no longer guided. Ah, open that weak spot, boy. 
Open it. Open that weak spot. Blah. Yes. Yes. Come on. Die. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> oh, all my missiles are exploding now. So I was missing. <laughs> Aside from uh, talking about mine layer system, um, we got some new teasers for season four. Some more, actually. Not just, you know, the title reveal or anything. There's going to be a random beer in the bar. So that's pretty cool. So now we can get random beers for whatever random effect is going to happen. And then, um, I should have been using the, wait, can't, <laughs> no, they're not guided anymore. And then, so this teaser had two things in it. That being, oh, I hear a warden. Nope. Molly, you mother Oh, I, I keep... Hold on. There you go. <laughs> now die, Warden, die. There's two of you? Now you guys just definitely deserve to die. <laughs> yeah. Alright, anyways. Um, so in this teaser, we got two new things. We got a, a nanosite breeder that's been infected. And it will quite literally, when it dies, we only saw when it dies, it'll explode into a bunch of those uh, infected leech things. But my theory is that infected breeder is going to attack you because they didn't show it flying around. They just showed it dying. So it might actually attack you. A giant ass breeder thing. It might attack you. Anyways, though, in that same exact teaser, a new weapon frame, a rock pox weapon frame, which, oh my God, I'm so excited for that too in, in season four. Oh man, I love living things on guns, just like a living organism on like a, on like a, a physical object. I, I love that, that type of stuff. The Apothecan Servant in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Half-Life with the crab, the crab heads on on the smgs like oh man i love that type of stuff it's just so funny and so creative to see so yeah now i was really like thinking about that i was just like oh man what if they added like a weapon frame that was like rock pox like that would that would actually be really cool and then we saw the the dlc weapon frame and i'm just like i'm like oh sag it's it's i mean it's still cool it, it looks like um a, a water gun <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. Come on. Ah, uh, Steve. Help me, Steve. Drop that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This is actually really, really fun. Wow. I did not expect to en be enjoying um, Mind Layer System as much. We're rich. <laughs> the DLC that we got was really cool. It, it, they all look like water guns. But, like... Uh, I was like, is this really in the theme of things? But then, no, I think the rock pox weapon frames is going to be in the cosmetic tree, like how meal spec was for this season. So, hell yeah. Not a swarm, drop it. Can you, oh. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be exploding. <laughs> Come here, guys. Come here. What's wrong? Come here. <laughs> nice. Boom. There you go. Hey. No. Stop fighting my Steve. <laughs> That's what you get. Nah, uh, yeah, that, that must be true. At the same time, she's a machine, so I don't care. <laughs> and it's not. Uh oh. We're bringing a little bit out there. As for this, though. <laughs> yes, come walking in my minefield, boys. See what happens. <laughs> yeah. I got that one, that one, and that one. And then. Yeah. Gotta go back up there after this. 
Wow, okay, I got all the the ambush ones except for the sword ones. Okay. Oh, there's an right there. Yep. Actually, we could go back to the starting room. So, like, where are they coming from? Oh, Bosco. Yeah. Where is the last egg, too? Oh, wow. So far, it's just a bunch of swarmers. <laughs> I was like, I wonder how this is gonna do in a real situation. It's doing, it's doing fine. It's doing wonders. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, right there. All right, boop. Time to go. <laughs> Whoop. Oh uh, god. I might go down. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go down. <laughs> if I get frozen, yeah, I'm going down. <laughs> you, you're mine. Uh. Uh. Bye, nerds. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Rocket stone. <laughs> Almost a perfect mission. Went down there to my own stupidity. Oh well. Great team effort. Nice. 257. Not too bad. Alrighty. Well, this was a really, really fun build. The mine layer system for the hurricane is just a really fun overclock all around. <laughs> I was having a little bit of doubts uh, when I was using it in the sandbox mod. I was like, how is this going to do in a real situation? But it just kind of worked out perfectly. <laughs> so, yeah, no, this was a really, really fun build with it. Uh, if anyone wants to use it, I would recommend it. And then for the first fire gun, I kind of just wanted this to be a little bit of a single target gun so I could kill the Praetorians and like Wardens uh, really fast. So I didn't have to use all my rockets on the Praetorians or the Wardens, but it seems like I still did anyway. So, <laughs> but yeah, no, th this was also a pretty fun build for the first fire gun. Anyways, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate anyone who stuck to the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, did and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Rock and stone, miners.